Hey guys, today I want to share with you three of my favorite art places in Aarhus where I live. We're gonna visit an artist in his studio, we're going to a gallery that's kind of small but awesome, and then we're going to an art museum with a beautiful view of the whole city on top. So hope you all enjoy it and let's get started. My name is uh, Momo. I'm a Danish artist and I work in yeah, basically all of the world, but yeah, mainly in Denmark. I've been living uh, from my art for eight years straight now. I would say the first three years was really, really tough, really rough years. I didn't know what to, uh, what to make a living from like two or three months down the road. But yeah, I hang in there, I guess. Um, and now I'm doing pretty good. It's a mix of actually private customers. I have a lot of people coming up here or in my shop and buying like pieces of art, but I also come into people's home and do like a, a directly wall paintings in the kitchens or whatever. But I make a good living from working with like companies and also sometimes like government officials and people like that. My main thing is decorations and I try to enter a space and I try to make that space work better after I'm gone. So I really want to, I want to increase the livability and I want to increase the quality of the space where people um, have their lives, I guess. Starting my, my work, I guess my career was with the, like doing street art many years ago. And I, I was a part of that street art scene, but I slowly started to realize I could make a living from this. So I started to do different collaborations all over and I guess, yeah. It just took off from there. Yeah, I'm doing the new uh, Scandic Hotel in Kilby in Vestibul. I've been doing uh, the Royal Suite, the new Royal Suite at uh, Hotel Marriott in Copenhagen. I've been doing uh, Nurple Park, who's like total decoration of their space. If you feel like um, seeing more of my work, you're more than welcome to join me on Instagram or Facebook or just drop by my shop, whatever, or come here at the studio in Aarhus. If you're in town, just send me an email. We'll figure it out. And I actually found him on Instagram, so I highly recommend that, and I'll definitely put the link to all the stuff in the description. Now I want to introduce you to one of my favorite galleries. It's Le Orhaltas. This is one of my favorite galleries. I love to come here every six months. They always have great artists on display and they agreed to let me film in here. So let's check them out. one of my favorite artists and this gallery introduced me to her. If I could someday own one of her paintings that would be amazing. I have three small little cutouts of her things on my vision boards. This building was actually built to be an orphanage so young kids they lived here and now it's an art gallery. It was also like a Sunday school at some point. And what was the last thing? I don't remember, but it's a really awesome building. They have a downstairs and an upstairs. Now we're upstairs and they have all the little rooms set out with beautiful art. I don't know if you can see this guy up here, but he draws like a Danish uh, buildings and then he combines them most of the time with Belgian landscapes. I saw him down here, they had a huge exhibit with him uh, two years ago I think and I just fell in love. Too bad they were so expensive but good for me that I can just go here and look at them. why I prefer to look at art that's current. I really love walking around these galleries and enjoying things that people who live right now are painting. Um, 
Look at that, look how gorgeous it is. All of the art museums, of course, they are brilliant, they're great, but I just tend to enjoy this more. This gallery is open every day except Sunday and it's 11 to 5.30. So if you're in August, I really recommend that you come check it out. They have so much great stuff. And then right when you walk out the door, you have to be careful not to get run over by a bus because there's hardly any sidewalk. <laughs> Just saying, look at this. Now I've shown you street art and I've shown you a private gallery. Now we're heading into some high culture. We're high, heading into the art museum here in Aarhus. It's called Aros. And that is actually the name of this city when the Vikings established it. The museum itself is pretty new. It's only about 10 years old, I think. And uh, it has a beautiful glass sculpture at the top. Right next to ours, there are all these old buildings and they actually used to be old military buildings. Now this is a music school and this over here is the house where they had all the horses. So this is still called Rydhusel and they have tons of exhibits and markets and stuff in there all year round. Do you hear that music? There's a choir practicing up there. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it, but that's pretty funny. I'm actually meeting up with Jane down here. Do you remember her from Croatia? We went on that trip together. Uh, that was a lot of fun. She lives here too and she has a year pass to here and with that year pass you can bring an extra visitor. It's kind of nice to be in the shade. It is unusually hot and warm this summer in Denmark. Tomorrow is actually the day where they are planning that they can announce that this has been the month ever recorded in Denmark. Ever with the most sun. That is crazy. I'm living history right here. I am meeting up with Jane and we are having a picnic on the lawn in front of the art museum and we're just popping into a supermarket. Most supermarkets in Denmark they have this convenience food and almost all of it is healthy or at least semi-healthy. So we're gonna get some of that and head over and have a picnic. Hey guys, meet Jane. Jane? Yay! We went to boarding school together and we went to Croatia together. Right. So she's in those videos as well. And we've just been having a picnic, enjoying this beautiful weather. And then we're about to head into the museum. Gotta love that spiral staircase. colors are so intense so much color if you had that hanging in your living room you'd be like it's so cool I like to have it in a miniature they're doing some sort of workshop art installation thing in there uh, with people in walking around in dry ice. It looks pretty cool. I think this is like a preview of it, but it looks fun. Where are we heading now? Yeah. Uh, you have the year pass, so you've been here. I've been here several times. We yeah. could go up to the uh, the rainbow, panorama yeah. rainbow. Yep. That's a must see in Aarhus. Yeah. So in Aarhus too. In Aarhus. Yeah, yeah, it's like a must do. Do you have to pay the entrance fee to get in? Yeah. Um, also to see the, the rainbow. I'll put the price on the screen so you can see. But wow, crazy echo in here. Yeah. Let's go in. Let's yeah. go to the rainbow. Are you ready for a very colorful experience? <laughs> this is technically a piece of art. Yeah. So you're walking inside the artworks, but it colors like you. It gives a. 360 degree view of the whole city and uh, then the glass changes. Yeah. You can basically 
literally see all of the city here. So you have the town hall over here, you have the old city center down there, and over there is Selling Rooftop, where I want to take you in a future video. That's a really awesome place too, where they're really good view. But let's head around here. Jane, you have to show us point to where you live. Right now we are at the Yellow Lightning and I live, you can see where I live or approximately where I live, at the forest up there yeah. in the apartment. So not too far from here. <laughs> and she has a house. Also. And building a new house. Yeah, building a new house. And, and having a baby. Yeah. <laughs> there are a lot of things going on right now. <laughs> you just couldn't uh, wait with any of it. <laughs> So, but at the moment in an apartment. Yeah. Yeah. And here's the botanical gardens and the old city, which I've shown you before too. So now you can see it pink and from above. I think it's kind of funny because my perception of the city kind of changes depending on the color. Because right now we're in the blue and I love blue, but this is very blue. <laughs> Way too blue. Yeah. And then the red and the yellow is more like happy for some reason. I don't know why. And this is where I live. Over there. Somewhere. Man, it's hot. <laughs> Let's go get some air. The city is going green. You have rhubarbs and strawberries over there. I think is chives and different things. That's pretty cool. Denmark in general is a very go green country so lots of vegetables around the city and yeah focus on green in general. And for pregnant women this is perfect. <laughs> that was it guys for my three things I think you guys should see if you come to Aarhus and you want to see some art. I hope you enjoyed them. Leave down in the comments which one you would like better. I'm really curious to see. Maria and Jane signing off. Bye. Bye.